Do not worry about what you are to wear, to eat or drink. Your Heavenly Father knows what you need and He will provide it for you. Your very concern is to promote the Kingdom of God. In the first reading today taken from the prophet Isaiah reflects what this theme of this liturgy is all about. That many times we feel that even God has left us, abandoned us, left us alone. And today the prophet is saying to Zion and saying to each one of us that even if a mother abandoned her child, which is impossible because of her tenderness, God would never do so. And then in, in the Gospel today, Jesus is saying to us, do not worry about clothing, about feed, about food, about drinking, but trust in God's providence. And the question arises, then shall I discredit all my account that I have, or uh, my pension, or all that I have? What the Lord is asking me? The Lord is asking us to do our share but then he will do the rest. What we need to do is that we are really not our concern or our anxieties about our possessions that sometimes they take over and sometimes they take over and become the only essence that we have in this life. Not that not, we are not going to be, care, care, um, we are not be careful of tomorrow and prepare for tomorrow. Not that we are going to cancel our checking account because we need them. But what we need to do is that we understand that these are means for us. They are not the end. And today I like to really focus on Jesus when he said to us that if the sparrow of the, of the sky, the Lord take care of him, he who does not harvest, who does not put into barns uh, for tomorrow, how much God will provide for us? Are we not worthy than any bunch of sparrows? And if the Lord give beauty to the flower of the valley, how much he takes beauty and his concern about we who are created in his image? And then of course we go to the letter of St. Paul today to the Corinthians as he speaks to them that he does not seek any judgment from them or anyone, but he leaves his judgment in the hands of God. Because he knows in his conscience that what he is doing is right. But although he knows that this is what he thinks, he is not acquitted from being guilty of being a sinner too. And so as we come to the celebration of the Mass today, we have to really think seriously, do we rely on the providence of God? Or are we so worried about tomorrow and what we need to do our, about our bills and so forth? I give some of my testimony, my, my word that I experience in my life. Many times, you know, there are times that I cannot pay bills. A bill came in the, in the mail and I don't have enough to meet that responsibility. And so I say to the Lord, Lord, you know that you know what I need. And the Lord always come true always come true, whether I receive uh, some money in the mail or somebody give it to me or whatsoever, those bills will be paid. And that is my experience and sometimes that experience of you too. How many times you know you have a limit and you are on a budget and some extraordinary happened to the house, happened to you. You seek a doctor or whatever or some medication or whatever and that is too much for you to really uh, meet your responsibility. All of a sudden, God will send you something in your life that really is going to overshadow that concern. You know, I remember the words of Padre Pio, pray fast and, and, and what is called, and don't worry. I understand that is something that he used to say, but not to be worried is not something that is part of our human nature. We worry about tomorrow. Do I have enough? Do I am going to be uh, taken care of? And those concerns really are something that are really concerned that put me in a situation that I am trusting in my resources, not trusting in God. And that's why today 
the liturgy asking us to trust completely in God because he will never leave us alone he will never leave us alone I am with you until the end of time I am going to give you my assistance when you need it if you trust in me and that is really what the, the liturgy is all about today is a continuation of those beautiful words we call it the words of the mountain the Beatitudes and today Jesus is asking us that we are not going to worry about what we dress and what we eat and what so forth because God will provide and this is what really the season of Lent is coming is preparing us that by works of charity by prayer and fasting we are going to be preparing to celebrate the great mystery of Easter and that's why you know our Holy Father when you read you know his message and what is his really message that we send to us is that although sometimes there is concern for our ourselves there is more concern for those who are less than us I am going to be giving to you in Lent some of the uh, words that he spoke to us and the message he spoke to us in the letter of, of Lent and the, m the theme of that letter is Lazarus is knocking at your door and you know what Lazarus is Lazarus was that beggar who always sit by the rich man's table or the mission door and he wait for something to come in the garbage so that he will take a little bit of his hunger away and that is exactly what we need to do many times you know there are hunger in the world because I am very egoistic because if I know that what God gave me is not just for me but for me to satisfy my longings and my, belo my, my needs but also to share with what I have with others it is very important that we do so how many times you know we have so much food in the refrigerator and we leave it there go rot instead of putting in a casserole 